Hello and welcome Voyagers. Thank you for coming to another tutorial on how to use some of our roommate finding apps. This one is called Room Easy. Uh, you can open it here and you can change the language if you need to. I'm putting it to English, obviously. <laughs> I only speak English, unfortunately. And then we're going to go for rent. So here it's going to pop up and ask us to complete our profile. Uh, and then it, it explains how it works, finding a new place. You can like uh, favorite places and then match and chat with other people, which is great. So we're going to log in here. Um, you can log in with Facebook or you can register by email. I'm going to register by email just to show you how that process works because not everyone has a Facebook account. So here it's going to ask you for your email, password to make your account, name, birthday, and gender, and ask you for a profile picture. So I'll do this really quick, but just to protect my information. I'm just going to off screen. All right, so when you open the app again, if you happen to leave at this point, we're gonna finish our profile. So we're going to put in where we're from. So I'm putting Sudbury here, um, maxing out the distance because I have a car and that doesn't really matter too much to me so I can drive where I need to go. And then we confirm. It'll ask us for our occupation and things about us that makes us unique. So this helps us match with other potential roommates and personality wise. So I'm an animal lover. I'm a student. I like going out. I'm a real big foodie. I always make food references. I'm a tree hugger, creative. I like going to festivals. I love to game on my off time. And I'm also a non-smoker. So I'll be selecting that. And then I'm going to add an occupation because it won't let you go next without an occupation. So for occupation, I was thinking for a bit, I could either put my job now or I'm a student. So I've decided after thinking for a second here that I was going to put student. So I am a student. So I'm currently in college. So here it'll ask you for user device location. Makes sense because it is a finding a location app. So we have our profile. I didn't decided not to use a profile picture. But here you can go into your settings. You can change your profile. Again, I just put this little uh, screen up to show, like, to not show my personal information. And then with settings, you can lock, you can have push notifications, like Facebook, change language, all those types of normal things. And there's a section for your dislikes. So here we're going to start by finding a new roommate. We went to the little. Um, search icon with the glasses, the magnifying glass, sorry. I just typed in New York, just for an example, they'll ask you if you want male or female roommate, if you want social interactions. Uh, and then they'll ask you, how do you like going out together? And how often would you dine together? There's also amenities you can choose from. I just didn't care too much about it. This is just for educational purposes. So here we go. We have some different places from New York area. People will put up the price per month with photos of the location. This person has two cats, which I thought was cute. So you can like it with the heart, dislike with the X or super like as a favorite with the star button. Yeah, so you can scroll through. There are some pretty nice places in New York. I'm actually pretty surprised by the price points. So I just liked a few here and scrolled through a few just to give you an example. It literally looks very similar to like a Tinder app or those types of apps. So you would just scroll through like or dislike or super like, things like that. Um, disliking, as you saw there, I tried to dislike one is a premium feature. Uh, however, the free feature you can like and super like. So here I went to their favorites when we went back. You can save your favorites there under your star icon. Yeah, so that's mainly it. Thank you all so much for your time. This was a quick overview of the RoomEasy app. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at captains at hyvoyages.com. Or you can contact myself directly, who is the one going through this app with you. Uh, my name is Amelia, one of your captains. You can contact me at captain03 at hyvoyagers.com.
And I really hope you like, subscribe, and follow us for more content. Uh, please leave a comment um, or any type of suggestion for any other content you'd like to see. And thank you again for your time and have a wonderful day. Bon voyage, voyagers.